Hey, what's up YouTube? Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea Dimension 2. In the last episode, uh, the local anarchists started destroying Etna's statues as well as Laharl's. She was very annoyed and so we picked the fight with them to uh, assert our dominance. Or something. I don't know. It's been a couple of weeks since the last time I recorded this. And, uh, considering, uh, my grandfather's funeral is in a week, I'm probably not gonna have time to record next Saturday, so... Meh. I'm just gonna have to record something today. <laughs> gonna have to record a lot of Disgaea. But enough about me. Let's get back to Laharl's story. Uh... This actually looks about normal. We still don't have uh, anything to reincarnate Home Run as, so if you guys have any ideas, I am more than happy to hear them. Of course, uh, you probably won't be seeing the effects of that for another few episodes. <laughs> but anyway, let's get going. S episode 1, Stage 5, Filthy Ruins. Oh, hey, it's Grosso. I felt I told you I don't have time to waste with you. That being said, and although they were low-class demons, I'm surprised you were able to get through so many of them. As foolish as you are, I'll chuck that up to the fact that you are King Krichevskoy's son. How could you destroy my... the Overlord statues like that? How could you? <laughs> That's what I'd like to ask you. Using your father's notoriety to claim the title of Overlord, and performing tyrannical acts for your own benefit, you are nothing short of evil to us. You are as foolish as King Krichevskoy was wise. This is how you know the game got serious. The antagonist actually has a point. <laughs> you have zero qualities <coughs> of an Overlord. I cannot allow your tyranny. Precisely. However, this is only the beginning. We will force you to forfeit the throne and leave the Overlord's castle. Oh! No one can order me to do anything! I, the Overlord, make my own decisions about everything! But how many demons in another world would agree with what you just said? You could probably count them all on one hand. Could probably count them all on one finger. <laughs> oh, shut up! At the very least, you'll have to convince me if you want to call yourself the Overlord. <laughs> you are just my old man's vassal. Don't act so cocky. If you aren't convinced, then let me demonstrate the absolute power I wield as the Overlord. Oh well. I suppose I have no choice. It is the responsibility of an adult to punish bad children. I shall discipline you. Okay, looks like a boss fight. <coughs> Here's Grosso. Let's see here. Uh, he's got a black monster weapon for some... What skills does he know? He knows star magic. Star is uh, is not quite non-elemental. Everybody has <coughs> approximately a 20% innate resistance to star, but that can't be changed by anything except maybe an ability. I'm not remembering. So yeah. It's a, it's a secret fourth element, let's just say. Poison, uh, success rate 90%, that looks dangerous. Checkmate. Hmm. I don't know what E up to B quite means. Other than maybe it's a mounted skill? I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. 
You can see he's got pretty decent defense. His res is a little lower, but uh, his aptitude for both is quite high. As for his ability, Shut In Officer. As long as unit doesn't move, increase stats of adjacent units by 30%. Hmm. Could probably get around that by picking him up and throwing him. So, uh, we should expect anything from our enemies. Alright, wizards, mount up! Stella? Uh, right, I gave you a gun. Oh, hey, it's this song. Eat it. It's from the uh, Frozen River in Disgaea 1. I'll destroy all of you. There's a better way to do this that I forgot. You can do it, dude! There we go. I'm gonna do it! Pretty dude! Pretty Start. dude. Let's see how much of that uh, is actually needed. I think Etna needs a better spear. <laughs> yeah, she needs a better spear at some point. Alright, can wind reach you? No. Alright, where to go now? Well, I guess we can have Laharo do this. A little scared of those moth dudes. Check their abilities. Uh, full of miasma. These guys have bad trips, so uh, definitely stay clear of them. Wild Cry increases their stats uh, per enemy unit within two panels. So uh, try to take them out from a from a range. Don't just swarm them. Is what I'm hearing here. First, we can throw Laharl right up to him, no problem. Let's boulder crush. How many boulders have been crushed in this series so far? Is that a trick question? Let's see. Triber, stun like in Disgaea 2, is not ice element. I don't know why it ever was ice element, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Home run, I think you should defend. Yeah. yeah. And Stella gets the level! Along with a nice prize. Don't know what our prize is yet, but... This is cold. Hit up. Flutter, flutter. I'm gone. Ooh, yeah, so, uh, that's... Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, uh... Hmm. Yeah, fortunately, they're not taking too much damage from poison. Uh... Wow, this guy's sword is just, uh, clipping through Grosso, because, uh, they don't know how to sprite. <laughs> All right, let's see. I do want Eric to get experience, so I guess we will leave that, leave the, uh... Yeah, let's see here. Leave Impaler Drop, and then uh, leave the attacking to Eric and Flan, you can heal him. <clears throat> and we'll finally get to see what Flan's ability actually does. <laughs> Go away. Let's 
Let's see, I can triple strike you. It's not quite as effective as I would like, though. So, let's get Stella up here with a, uh... Oh. Alright, if that can one-hit kill, then, uh... I guess I'll focus, uh, on Grosso. Blade Rush is why not. Followed by a triple strike. Antennae! <laughs> that's just silly. Ooh, zero percent. That's, uh, that's bad. So yeah, uh, that was a support attack. Which we evidently have not quite seen yet. Home Run has learned Pretty Blizzard, probably by leveling up to six. That, pro that makes sense, probably. Oh. <laughs> I don't know has, uh... Well, let's see. What is your move? Three? Alright, then I'll just throw you far, far away. While we uh, have some time to heal up a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Oh dear. Uh, Maharo, you need to heal yourself. Get you up here. Not much healing, but I guess it's better than nothing. I don't know, it might do you some good to heal yourself too, even though your res is pretty terrible. Same thing for you, Rosa. Etna is just fine. can I heal? Well, you know, I, I guess we'll have Flan uh, open a treasure chest if she can. Can she reach? Yeah, she can reach. Where is... oh. <laughs> Perspective trickery! My favorite. May as well use a special skill if you can afford it. It's not like we're not healing in between maps. All right, that's everybody but Grosso. Now, this is a bit of a break from tradition. You do not get a bad ending by losing to Grosso. Okay, Rosa has learned heal permanently. That's cool. Uh, the first bad ending will come in Chapter 2. So for now, we do actually have to put up a fight against Grosso here. Nya ha 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 ha. That was not the kind of laugh I would expect him to have. Makes him sound like a Russian kitty cat. Oh, he's got 50% wind resistance and minus 50% to ice, so uh, our magicians here uh, will not do us much good. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. I think this gray hit bar means it's going to be like... Uh, going to be minimal damage. Yeah, that's probably what it means. 
see, I can't quite blade rush you if that is going to be in the way. So let's not do that. Let's do that and then uh, use Impaler Drop. I don't know, you're just going to have to sit there. Lower his defense. Well, that didn't lower his defense, did it? Oh well. And Stella gets the kill. Dark Matter Ether. That's the uh, second gun skill. Got a decent amount of cash for that. <laughs> Don't think that you've won. Why not? I wipe the floor with you. Prince, <clears throat> I think this is the part where we just roll our eyes and listen to his pitiful excuses. Huh. So, do you accept me as the overlord now? The thing is, Laharl, you haven't really proven anything other than that you're a brute. You don't get it, do you? It doesn't matter if you possess ultimate power. You still don't have what it takes to be the overlord. Fool! All an overlord needs is to be powerful! Therefore, I, the strongest demon in the netherworld, have everything it takes to be a great overlord. Strongest at level 5? <laughs> like I said before, I can't accept you as King Krzyzewskoy's successor. Enjoy playing overlord. For now. Aww, he ran away! So, what do you want to do now? to find out where he's working from. As soon as they find it, let's wreak some havoc. Understood. Laharl, what kind of person was Krzyzewski? That was way out of left field. Since that demon said you're nothing like King Krzyzewski, I've been wondering what made him such a great person. I don't know. I never tried to know. Let's go back to the Overlord's castle. All right. What's all the commotion? We've got big trouble. Please, take a look at this. Huh? What, what is this? I don't know, but we need to do something about it before something bad happens. Hmm. We are in dire need of a worthy overlord as soon as possible. Call in all of our officers. There's no time to waste. So not only is Laharl a brute, he's also Wheatley. <laughs> Oh, another world isn't falling apart. The angels are uh, up to something. To end the tyranny of evil overlord Laharl, the super cute demon gal Etna has descended upon this netherworld. Hey! Using her vassal, fallen angel Fawn as a shield, Etna dashes through wave after wave of demon attacks. That's, that's just cruel. Stop right there, evil overlord Laharl! All your fame and riches belong to me now! What a selfish bitch! Next time on Demon Gal Etna Dimension 2, Episode 2, The Birth of Overlord Etna! A new history begins now! Stop with all the lies! Good old Etna interludes. <laughs> Gotta love them. I think that's going to be... Well, actually, no, I think we are going to, uh, I think we're going to continue. Just so I can, uh, make sure I didn't unlock something? something cool. Not yet, but the pretty should be back right about now. Laharl, there's a package for you from Celestia. From Celestia? Isn't it just something for you? It's probably just another morphing belt or more ranger figures. <laughs> I really can't stand to look at that junk, so can you stop collecting them at the Overlord's castle? No! I live for those things! But anyway, this isn't for me. The delivery printy said it was for the Overlord. I see! For the Overlord, huh? And it must be for me! I'm a zombie. <laughs> He's so simple. Anyway, isn't it strange that Laharl is getting something from Celestia? I've got 
a bad feeling about this. Is it Solid Snake? What the? <laughs> oh, okay. It's a little angel, little girl. It's Cat Planet. No. <laughs> He's got attitude. My name is Sicily. I'm here to become the Overlord. Episode 2 The Arrival of the Mysterious Angel Girl Sicily. You, an angel, becoming the Overlord? Yeah, who do you think you are? The elven king of the dwarves? Don't be stupid. I'm not being stupid. I am for real. That's why I came to the Overlord's castle. Why were you shipped in a package? <laughs> Good question. So I wouldn't get lost on the way. Aren't I a genius? Makes perfect sense to me. Pure stupidity. Don't be a party pooper, Etna. It's brilliant. A puny little idiot angel like you doesn't have what it takes to be the overlord. Um, you're really bossy. What gives you the right to say that? Oh yeah, he's Laharl. Contrary to how he looks, he's actually the overlord. There is nothing contrary about it, Flan. I look like the overlord from any angle. What? Really? I was picturing someone much bigger. That's what most people would think. In that case, let me begin with... Big Brother Overlord, can I take your Big Brother? Overlord? You're even stupider than I thought. No demon would give up being the overlord. Really? In that case, let me give you this. What is it? Pretty cookies that I baked. I use plenty of sugar, so they're really tasty. <laughs> being the overlord or cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Did she slap him or Vulcan neck pinch him? Let go, Blonde! I don't care if she's small. She could be old for all I care. I can't let her get away with that. Oh, she's got him in a chokehold. <laughs> are a matter of pride or however that line went okay fine I'm going okay yeah cheat shop minimum and maximum expanded so uh, I can adjust our settings a little more but that will be saved for next time thank you all for watching I'll see you later well, after the character demo. <laughs> Our unit of the day is the thief. I'm on it. Thieves are all about stealing. Allow me to demonstrate. You don't have a weapon. 
You don't have a weapon. You don't have a weapon. I can't demonstrate here. Well, maybe I still can. Let's see here. So, yeah. Let me, uh, pull somebody out here. Thieves have a double stealing rate with stealing hands. Um... At least I think they do. Of course, if it's zero, it's uh, kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Is there somebody weaker I can steal a thing from? Let's see... Uh, you are a land of... You are a unit I got from the Land of Carnage, but maybe you'll do if it's not dependent on your stats. I don't quite remember what the stealing formula is in this game. I'm angry. Let's use a bandit's hand. Okay, let's get Flan out here. She can help me demo. Um... Okay, I guess maybe it doesn't matter. It makes me kind of wish I did a little more research. <laughs> Actually, hang on a second. This is the deal. Thieves don't need to use an item to steal. Okay, that's what makes them different from other units. <laughs> they don't need an item to steal. They can just uh, steal right away. They can also steal stats. Which uh, actually makes me wonder. Ooh, Carmen's speed plus 36. I don't know if this is permanent or not. Like, if it'll reset when she reincarnates. It's probably not the same as a Land of Carnage bonus it is, though. If you're watching this and wondering what Land of Carnage is, then uh, shame on you for not waiting until you've cleared the story. I, I mean, look at this. Spoilers. Right here. Sicily joins the party. <laughs> anyway. Uh, their abilities. Don't care about you. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thieves are all about their, are all about speed. As you can see, a whopping 145% aptitude at their, uh, highest class tier. Uh, this S is a little misleading. The highest they get with their bows and guns is B. Uh, well, I guess you can't really tell because, uh, they're all apprenticed to Flan. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Can, uh, can kind of see their, uh, base stats between the two of these. So, yeah, Thieves also have some other, uh, unique skills, which we cannot show off right here. We're just gonna have to wait. Thieves also have two other class skills. Uh, they are a very rare case of a humanoid unit with a class skill. As you can see, uh, we can create boxes and barrels. Boxes can be stood on, barrels are considered bombs. It sh I would show off if Carmen here would stop countering everything. Do not throw, it said. Yeah, it's a bomb. With uh, stats pretty comparable to hers. I mean, it's the same level as her, so uh, you're never going to be without a good bomb to throw. See if we can get you over there. Probably not. Let's 
Well, we couldn't exactly uh, show off what uh, what sort of range this bomb had. Oh wow. That's the thief. <laughs> So yeah, you don't even need stealing hands anymore, just make a thief. It's pretty cool stuff. 